Hello crafters, this is Brett Lund from Robert's Crafts for another edition of Try It Thursday. Uh, we wanted to go ahead and post this video. We have now finally received in a product that uh, we've been waiting for. They are the Gloobers. There's these ones, and these are by Cosmo Cricut. These are two inch glue dots. And then there's this one, this is the assortment. This is um, the assorted four, three inches, four, two and a half, and four two inches. Okay. What gloopers are is they are a gigantic double stick glue dot, and it helps us. Uh, we get to play around with it, and it's like, uh, like I said, it's a giant glue dot. Now let me show you what we made with these glue dots. We made these assorted flowers. So there's this one, and there's this one, and then there's even this one. Okay, and so this is actually what we're going to be making today. So all of you, all that you need is, is we're going to be using the two and a half inch gloopers. I don't know if you can see those; they're right there. So we're using the two and a half inch gloopers. We're going to need some fabric. So we'll be using. We're going to make three flowers today. So uh, these these three that I just showed you. These are the three that we're going to be making. So you'll need fabric. I have some tool. I have some different type of fabric and I have buttons and then on the back side we have these gimme clips with some extra um, fabric to make to use for a uh, reinforcement. So uh, having said that let's go ahead and start on our first flower. This is the first flower that we'll be making and the supplies that you'll actually need for this are a, a gimme clip. This is for the back set clip. Uh, you're going to need some tool. And what I did is I just cut various uh, circles of tool. You need some reinforcement fabric. This is actually going on the back side. I cut a circle the size of the gloober, which is two and a half inches. And then I also cut a rectangle. This is um, one by one and a half, I believe. And then I want a button. And if you look on the back side of the button, what I did is I nipped the shank off it. This is going to help so the glue actually, so the button actually stays centered in the glue, in the center. And then I just need a long piece of fabric. So this is not double-sided fabric. It's just single-sided, and it is let's see, one and a half inches, and I believe it's about um, 32, 34 inches. So uh, having said that, oh, and we will need, of course, our two and a half inch glue dot. Now the thing with these guys, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and cut it off. And then you want to peel off one of the sides. Okay, that's going to make the this side sticky, the other side is not sticky, and that lets you play around with it. So having said that, we're going to go ahead and move all this other stuff out of the way. And what you want to do is, is with this end right here, um, I like to cut it off, just kind of snip it right there. And what I like to do is um, you take the end, and what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to cover it about about maybe a half an inch. And then all you do is, is you just start pleating it. So see how I'm putting that. And what I have found is, is up at the top edges right here, if you pull more than um, if you pull more than than what um, pull more down here than up here, this edge will actually pull in. So you want to make sure that you pleat a lot down on the bottom half. And you know what? It's it's okay if it kind of looks wrinkled because you're going to put some more um, fabric right on top of that. So. All we're doing, once again, is see how I'm just pleating it around. Okay. Okay. And then we came to the end, and then you're just going to take your scissors, snip it off. See how it looks like that? And I just like to push out down all the edges. Okay, and then we're going to take this right where it left off, but we're going to move it on the inside. Okay, so once again, we're pleating the fabric. 
See, if you look right there, how the edge is starting to pull in. So I kind of unpull it and reset it down. Now, once again, you could do this with just some paper and then just stick a whole slew of glue on top. But I find it's much easier and you don't burn your fingers as much. Now, the thing that I noticed is towards the end, you have this little piece lying here. If you really tighten it, you can stick it in. What I like to do is I like to kind of play with it, see how much I need, and then cut it off. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is, is this is where I'm going to chi a little bit. I'm going to get my glue gun, and I'm going to put a dab of glue right there. Okay, remember you don't want to burn your fingers, so be really careful. Okay, so there we go. That is how it looks so far. Now, what you want to do, see it's kind of warm still. What you're going to want to do is, is with this, um, I cut uh, four circles. This is of tool. And all we're going to do is I'm going to put a dab of glue in the center. I'm going to put the tool on. And then I'm going to put my button in the center. And I'm just going to press it down. Now what this is going to do is this is going to secure the tool as well as the button in the center. Okay, so there we go. So our, our flower is done. Pretty basic, pretty easy to do. All we need to do is the back side. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off the other back, this back side sticker. Let's see where it is. See, it's all double stick. And then this, I, this is just a circle that I cut out. And I'm just going ahead and I'm gluing. Notice how it just reinforces it. Nice and, nice and uh, tight. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to take our clip, and with the clip, let me show you a little secret. One edge has an indent, and the other edge has the teeth on it. We want to use the edge that has the indent. Now, I like to look and see where the bottom is going to be. The bottom is going to be right here at this opening. And so I like to have the bottom down there. So I'm going to take the edge that does not have the teeth, and I'm going to put some glue on that. I'm just going to put a little glue, and you'll understand why in just a minute. Okay. And then I take this square, I'm going to put some glue on this. And then with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my clip and I'm going to put this piece of fabric let's see let's see look right there we go I'm going to take this put my piece of fabric right in there and then I'm going to press it down so in essence what we're doing is we're gluing the snap into place okay so there we go, we have that bottom all glued together, and then we have our finished flower. Okay, now on to flower number two. This is the flower that we're gonna be making. This is a little bit different from the previous flower, this one right here. Um, and this one is more of, we're gonna just, we're gonna wrap the edge like we did with the first one, and then we're gonna layer a whole bunch of stuff on top. So, for this, you're going to need your fabric. Here's a smaller strip of fabric. Here is our tool. We need our reinforcement circle and rectangle. Of course, a button. Our gimme clips. Our two and a half inch gluber. And another piece of fabric. And the way how I got the ruffled edges is I cut it out and then I just lightly moved it across the flame of a candle and that kind of melted the edge. So it kind of gave that a different look. You can do that if you want. Or you don't have to, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Okay? So, for the first layer, what we're gonna do, take off our take off our top. 
And with this one, we have both ruffled edges. If you wanted to, you could cut off the ruffled edges. I actually like having the ruffled edge, so I'm going to keep it on. And all we're going to do is we're going to start layering again. Once again, remember, we're going to ruffle it. Uh, that's all we're doing is we're just taking the edge, move it along, ruffle it, keep moving it along. Okay, we get to the edge, and we'll just snip it off. Okay, so there we go with our edge. Then what we're going to do is, is now we're going to add the layers. Okay, so the first layer is our tool, and once again, I just cut, uh, f let's see, six little circles. I just wanted to give it a little bit different look, and all we're going to do is, is we could lay this right down and it would stick, but I'm going to lay other stuff on top of it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dab of glue in the middle. Okay, these guys are going to go. See if we can get them straight and organized. These guys are going to go right on top. You don't want to burn yourself. Okay. I'm going to put this guy on top of here. Notice we're trying to be careful so we don't burn ourselves once again. And then what I'm going to do is with this, I'm going to put another. Let's make sure it's nice and glued in. I'm going to put another dab of glue on there. And this is where you got to be careful so you don't burn your fingers. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to ruffle it. Okay, just kind of ruffling and as I'm putting in I'm touching the center. Once again you're being very careful not to burn your fingers because this is an excellent opportunity for you to burn your fingers. Okay, so we're just putting it in there, layering, okay, and then we're going to snip this off, okay, and then for the last piece, we're going to put one more dab of glue in the center, and this is for the button. So there we have our completed flower. Looks pretty good. I actually like that look. And now what we're going to do is, is we're just going to let it sit and let it dry for just a minute. Let it cool down. And then on the back side, here's our back once again. We're going to apply this to this guy. And then we're going to apply this to there. And then don't forget we need to put our clip in underneath. And then we will have finished that flower. See how we did on the back? Super easy. So there is flower number two. Okay, and now for our last flower. It's this one right here. Now this one's a little bit different from the other ones that we have done because if you look at the material, all we've done is, is we're rolling the material. This, in my opinion, has got to be the easiest flower of all three to do. And then all we did was just add a button in the center, clip on the back. Super, super simple, but it looks very elegant. Okay, let me show you what we need. We need our fabric, and our fabric, this is inch and a half, um, and it's not double-sided. Ideally, you want to look for double-sided fabric, so if I really wanted to, I guess I could have um, ironed it and folded it over so everything was double-sided, but it's okay. I'll show you how we deal with that. We have, of course, our, um, this is our piece for our Gibby clip. This is our backing. We have our two and a half inch gluber, and we have our button. Okay, and again, if you notice, the shank has been cut off. So what we're going to do, set this all to the side. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to take this and you want to tie a knot in the end of it. Okay. Now this knot is what's going to go in the center. So it's n not, there we go. Uh -huh. You want to make sure it's nice and tight. Now if there's a lot of the edge hanging out over it, I just like to cut that off. You don't want to have a lot hanging out over the edge. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and open your gluber. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue broom, we're going to stick it right in the center. We're going to take our knot, stick it right in the center. And the knot you do is twist and lay. Twist and lay. Okay. Now, the tighter you twist it, the more that you're going to have to lay. Okay. So all I'm doing, see, twist and lay. Now remember how I talked about how this fabric wasn't double sided? If it was double sided I wouldn't have to worry about the other side but because it's not I like to make sure that when I twist I twist it together and I twist it so the outside pattern is showing. So, there we go. We have it completely finished. It's all rolled up. And we have this little edge right here. What I like to do is I like to take my scissors, snip it off, and then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to peel off the gluber, tuck it behind here. Okay, so it tucks back nice and looks really good. Okay, so that is our flower. Okay, now with our flower, I'm going to peel it off. Then we're going to take our circle, lay our circle on there, okay, so we're pushing it down all over, so it's going to stick. Basically again, this is adding our reinforcement to the back. Now if you notice, this little area sticks up a little bit. What I like to do is I like to just get a dab of glue. All right, it's just stick it under there and then there we go okay now if you wanted to you could trim off this edge that's hanging over that's completely understandable if you want to do that um, if you don't um, you could fold it down so there's lots of options okay so once we have done that like our flower we're going to take our rectangle and our gimme clip, go ahead and put our clip down, put a rectangle on top, glue it on, and then we have our finished, um, put on the gem on the front, and then we have our finished flower. Super, super easy. Once again, these are bloopers from Cosmo Cricut, and um, as always, you can visit robertscrafts.com or you can go to the blog blog.robertscrafts.com for all of your craft uh, supplies and techniques and until then happy crafting